Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Jobby and Chris Singleton with you. A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. Well, winning game one on the road was huge, Boog, and they can put a stranglehold on this series with a win here in this one, and that's obviously the goal. You want to go back home up 2-0 with a chance to wrap up the series in your own ballpark for sure. And if it goes the other way and the series gets to 1-1, it's a total reset as we change venues for the next three games. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Ready to go. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. The second baseman, Santiago Espinal. What is the first now? Here's a 1-1. One, one. Out to short, Tejada. One out in the top of the first. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. Out to short, Tejada. Whips it to first. One out in the second. And Chris, beyond the fact that he's so incredible defensively, he also can swing the stick. Two outs, runner at first. King Tejada getting ready to hit. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And there's a foul ball. Singy Alec Benoa's turned into one of the better starters in the American League. Blue Jays drafted him out of West Virginia. He was the 11th overall pick in the 2019 draft. Yeah, and just a year later, a big... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. And the batter now, the batter Santiago Espinal. Grounded out to short this first trip. Espinal. Bounce to the left side. Throw on to Olsen, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. Still no score. Now in for the Braves, no King four. Tejada. He's over for one. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up making his way through the minor leagues and quickly at this level an impact player here's a swing and a drive left field and he knew it the two-run shot his second home run of the series it's 3-1 he only needed one swing to square it up not wasting any time in that at bat boot aggressive and it paid off to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. So now to the plate for Atlanta. King Tejada. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at-bat. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Hard ground ball base now.
Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Here is Matt Olson, and there's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. I need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Giovanni Gallegos up and loosening in the pen. Meza warming up as well. Right-handed reliever. Fights it off. He'll see another. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. On the ground to first. Could be two. Over to Connor Falefa. And a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Back to the top of the lineup. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Michael Harris. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it. Right here. Next pitch ball, inside, that's and that's ball two. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. They have a rip like you can. Here we go. The count two and one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Kicks and deals. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So two on with two away. Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Tejada at third. Harris at first. Two out of the inning. See how the catcher wanted that pitch. Up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. and miss struck him out huge strike out there two men left stranded but they do push across one we head to the seventh now in game two brave six and the blue jays five one down and next for toronto Bo Bichette. if you don't get ahead in the count you can forget about having any success against him Out to short, Tejada. The throw to first, and Bichette is retired. Now batting, the first base, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So two down, but the batter will be the shortstop, shortstop. King Tejada. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. Matt Olson up to the plate. Base is loaded, two down. Two. 
Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there, and boom goes the dynamite. He circles the bases, and they add to the lead. It's 10-5. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he comes through big time at the Grand Slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. The batter, the shortstop, right Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And he deals. Hit weakly on the ground towards second. There's one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Up next to the blue jay, the designated hitter. Oh, they shed. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. And your final 10 to 5. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.